Okay, so my partner takes a double fist. He extends the fists all the way out. And uh, now we do the, do the dropping energy where he drops his core down to, the, down to the ground, transfers gravity into the stretch, and then stretches the, the punches out. Now, we've already done this in another video where we strengthen each of the lines on the diagonals, on the center line, with this, uh, with this uh, dropping exercise. Now, I'm putting my center of gravity up on my chest and then placing it on his chest and then stretching down to his feet. So I'm not battling to get underneath him in any way, shape or form. I'm giving him a tension line. I'm stretching into him and I'm, so that I can help him stimulate a stretch and a counter force in his body. So there's no dead weightedness at all coming from me. Once we've, uh, once we've done this uh, exercise, we do it with a back stance, both legs, a neutral stance, and then the feet together as, as in the last video. And uh, uh, so we get this uh, main framework uh, building up for, for the uh, center line power. Okay, once we've gone through that exercise, this is a revision of uh, an earlier video, you go into a back stance and uh, you take a really nice strong brace. Now what I'm going to do is we start off with the shoulder width because this is the, the strongest of the, of the punching shapes. I place my weight down. Now I'm going to drop my whole body weight into him and he's going to have a shorter angle. So we don't want to go any, any, less, uh, any more extension than a four-finger width line from there to there initially. So that's the max amount of extension and he'll reduce that extension to suit his feeling of strength and, and, and ability to, to take my body weight. So I, I touch down, and what I want to do is bring my whole body weight up, over, and into my partner. And then, once he's <coughs> adjusted himself to my body weight and how I'm transferring the weight, I increase the amount of speed uh, of that transfer and I push myself further and further away from him. Now, he's a trampoline. I'm jumping on his trampoline <coughs> with my arms. So my arms come down, push, and uh, move through. Nice and, nice and simple. Now, I use a law of rhythm with this exercise to gradually increase the amount of weight I'm putting through him to start with and then increase the speed of that weight. The way you lift your weight up, lift your heels off the ground and then place your weight down, it changes the amount of mass that ends up on his base. If I'm really light and floaty, it can look like I've got a lot of weight on him, but I might not. So you want to really get a, a sensitivity to this. If you're a lighter person and you put a set of bathroom scales there, you, your partner touches your base through your bridge, you should be able to measure that on the bathroom scales. The, it'll go from 60 kilos, 70 kilo, 80 kilo. And if there's two people who are 60, it'll go to 120 kilos on the bathroom scales. Obviously, you can't accelerate because the bathroom scales are going to break, but it gives you the idea that there has to be a very clean, clear, concise transfer of mass, and then we accelerate that mass. We want to build these punching lines on a circle in, in front of us so that our chi sao bridge of fighting space that we use most of the time develops a really, really strong bridge that his whole body weight can arrive at any point in that bridge. Okay, thank you for your time. See you on the next video.